My name is Candice Noonan. I am the Director of Education for Derma Concepts, the exclusive distributor of Environ Skincare here in the US. Today, my topic is cleansers. Why do we need them? How do you choose them? So first and foremost, let's talk a little bit about skin physiology. When we're young and active, our skin produces more oil. When we hit puberty, that oil then, along with hormonal changes, induce acne breakouts. As we age, we can get that acne breakout perhaps under control through using ingredients like salicylic acid and lactic acid to help sterilize and exfoliate the skin. But then as we age, our skin naturally produces less and less oil. So if we cleanse it the same way, we're going to be stripping our natural acid mantle and then causing issues like redness and sensitivity. So we constantly have to keep our cleanser in balance with what oil production we have going on. Now it's important to cleanse the skin because during the day exposure to the environment, we're exposed to pollution and dust and grime and sweat and dirt and we may, we may make up. So at the end of the day, we really do have to wash that off, but cleansing your skin with a correct cleanser is really the most important decision you have to make because if you choose the wrong cleanser for your skin, you can end up creating a lot of skin issues. So let's talk about a young problematic skin. So those teenage years, your skin starts producing oil, mix in a few little hormones, and you get that perfect storm of that problematic teenage skin. For that skin, it's important to use a foaming wash because the skin is producing a little bit more oil, but a combination with salicylic acid and tea tree will help also exfoliate the skin, removing follicular obstruction, so helping the skin to be clearer. For Environ, the Sebi Wash Gel Cleanser is the perfect option at this point. So for a problematic skin that's breaking out, lots of oil, nice and shiny, lots of blackheads and pastels that pop up, that salicylic and tea tree combination and that low foaming wash is a perfect combination to remove excess oils and shine and help to clear out those objects that are going to block the pores and cause further breakouts. But now we move out of that, say, young teenage problematic skin, but we continue to have oily skin. So without as many breakouts. So if that sounds like where you are, now you can transition out of a face wash that uses that salicylic and tea tree oil and more just into a foaming face wash to help balance the oil production. So young, active or problematic skin, that salicylic wash is really going to help improve the clarity of the skin. But now as we've gotten the clarity of the skin and the problematic skin under control, we can transition to a just gentle foaming wash with no acids necessary because they aren't breakouts prevalent. So for a normally oily skin, some people may complain about that T-zone being oily. The Environ Low Foaming Cleanser will now become a great option for you. But beware, your cheeks make up 80% of your face. And when you're looking at your skin, you can't think of, oh, I have an oily T-zone, so therefore my skin is oily. At that point, if you treat it as an oily skin, and have aggressively drying products like African black soap, even if it's for sensitive skin or any sort of high foaming activity facial wash, you may exasperate long-term problems in your skin such as redness and sensitivity. You may even think you have rosacea. So making sure that you're only using a foaming face wash if your skin has clear evidence of oil production or even excess oil production. Then we move to our final two cleansing options and that is the Youth Essentia Cleansing Lotion and the Skin Essentia 
mild cleansing lotion. If you have a more young skin that's sensitive, one of these two will be great for you, but tend more towards the skin essential option because that is directed more for a youthful skin. The Youth Essential Cleansing Lotion is a much richer lotion. And as I've mentioned, as we aged, our skin's producing less and less oil. So by having this option of a richer creamy cleanser is a great transition, allowing our skin not to be stripped, not to be damaged, and really just having a clean feeling without feeling squeaky clean. If you're getting out the shower and your skin cannot wait to get moisture on it because it literally feels squeaky clean, you're excessively drying out your skin and you could later on cause more issues with your skin. So a young sensitive skin needs a creamy cleanser. So the Skin Essential Mild Cleansing Lotion is a perfect option. A more mature skin that is now really starting to experience that age-related dryness, the Youth Essential lotion is a perfect option for a skin whether it be young or old that has the prevalence of some oil and oily shine the skin essential low foaming cleanse is a great option and then for problematic skin of all ages even adult skin that tends now to consistently break out adult onset acne young skins in puberty or skins that are oily and have evidence of breakouts at the same time, the Sebi Wash Gel Cleanser is a great option. So to conclude, it's important to wash your skin with the correct cleanser so that we don't end up exasperating the skin condition you're trying to improve. So making sure that you're not using a foaming cleanser when your skin tends to be more dry and as we age, switching over to that more creamy cleanser because just physiologically, we need a creamier cleanser because our skin produces less oil. And then having the option of salicylic acid combined with tea tree oil in a foaming wash for somebody that is prone to breaking out as well as the prevalence of an oily stature. I hope this has guided you through some of the environment choices for cleansers. For our next episode, I'm going to talk specifically to toners, so watch out for that. If you'd like to follow me, Candice Noonan, on Instagram, you can also follow dermaconcepts underscore US to learn more about environment skincare and our offerings. And I look forward to chatting to you next time.